Richmond police officer Sierra Burton has been off of life support for more than a day and we're told there has been little change in her condition. Burton was shot and critically injured August 10th. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall is live for us in Richmond. Caitlin, what does that community want Richmond police and Burton's family to know tonight? Love and support. Those are the two things this town has to offer to Officer Sierra Burton and her loved ones. And while that might seem minimal, it means a whole lot during this time. It's tragic. You wouldn't think this would happen around here. The Richmond community continuing to stand behind Officer Sierra Burton. She was an awesome cop. I've talked to her many times and she's just so awesome. It's support shown through flowers, stuffed animals, and mementos. Her patrol car draped with a thin blue line flag, reading hero. The whole community is grieving, not everybody's grieving. Officer Burton was taken off a of life support Thursday and escorted in an honor walk from her ICU room to the operating room inside Miami Valley Hospital. She has been here for more than three weeks after being shot in the head while conducting a traffic stop. Her loyal canine Brev still by her side. It's something the community of Richmond has recognized, leaving gifts for him too. It's what needs to be done and, you know, not just for her, um, but for her family. Greenfield Police Chief Brian Hartman traveling to his hometown of Wayne County to pay his respects. She's a sister. Um, you know, we always call it a brotherhood, but it's a brotherhood and a sisterhood. Hartman understands the pain the Richmond Police Department is feeling. Every one of those officers inside that building that come to work every day, um, they're going to feel it for the rest of their lives too. Burton is still in the hospital. Richmond Police Chief Michael Britt saying she's surrounded by family. Friday morning, Chief Britt posted an update on Sierra saying she is still with us. He closed his statement by saying Sierra continues to remind us just how strong she is. Gone too soon. Way gone too soon. Godspeed and... I'm sure she's going to be looking down. It's faith that can be heard from all those showing support. God needed a hero more than we needed a hero, and she can help more people in heaven than she can here on earth. After Officer Sierra Burton leaves Miami Valley, she'll be taken to the Miami County Crime Lab. From there, a procession will bring her back home here to Richmond. And that support, it's been something overwhelming. Just within the past hour, we've seen more than a dozen people coming to pay their respects, bringing so many flowers and mementos to honor Officer Sierra Burton. Reporting live in front of the Richmond Police Department, Caitlin Kendall. WRTV. It is good to hear that so many people are thinking of Officer Burton and her family tonight. Caitlin, thank you. An event this weekend will honor Officer Burton. The city of Richmond is holding its arts festival tomorrow. There will be a moment of silence in honor of Burton at 5 o'clock. You can learn more about the life of Officer Burton and find updates to this story on our website, WRTV.com and on the WRTV app.